Oh, Vic here, coming to you from the hair salon. Just a little recap before I post this video. Well, I'm posting it right now, you're gonna see it in a second. This is our canoe trip bachelor party I'm gonna be showing you guys. I really didn't get into any kind of videoing. Uh, very minimal, I just really wanted to be kind of off the grid, not do anything except fish, eat, and hang with the boys. Uh, you're gonna see a little bit of, a little taste of just about everything we did out there. And uh, it was really cool. Uh, had a little contest, fishing contest. Craig, my buddy Craig, you're gonna see, he got the biggest fish. It was, a, I think it was a 26, 28 inch pike. And I got a 21, 22 inch uh, largemouth bass. Now, funny little story about that bass. I switched over from a Cinco uh, to a, just a regular worm. And it was a, just a dead tree laying in the water. I flipped that thing in there, just a live, you know, night crawler, flipped it in next to the tree. Boom, it sucked that thing right down, tangled up all of our lines. Me and, actually, it was me and Austin in the canoe. Got us all tangled. He grabbed that thing by the lip because I couldn't turn around in the canoe and uh, pulled it out of the water, all tangled. It was a, <laughs> it was a good story. You had to be there to see it. And uh, yeah, you'll see some other uh, nice bass that we pull out of there. But I, I could have been recording at least a, uh, two dozen bass I probably caught. It was, it was crazy. Between the 12 guys that were there, we all were catching stuff. It was a good time. So uh, just a little taste. And uh, thank you for the couple of new subscribers. I think we got about eight this uh, past week. Uh, the 600th uh, subscriber... The name didn't come through on an email. So I'm going to look back into it. I'm going to look back through. If you were the 600th subscriber, you should leave a message here and uh, we'll, we'll take care of you. Send me a message. Maybe I'll send you out something here. I got a little package put together. But if I don't know who you are, I, I don't know what to, what to do. Yeah, this is the hair salon we did. Check it out. Them lights are bright, huh? All LED. Looking good. All right. Let's get to it. Oh yeah, and before I forget here, uh, Joe, Joe's Neon, I wanna thank you. I did try that setup, uh, trying to get the trout, and I didn't have any luck, but it was new water for me, so I had to figure it out. The, the spot where we were was dropping off from about three foot of water, and as you went across this pond, it would drop to like 15 feet of water, down to 25, 28 feet maybe at most. I was jigging a, uh, a, like, a like a light string with some big heavy sinkers on it. I was just probing and measuring roughly the, the depth of the water, you know, because you don't got no depth finders or nothing. So that's what I was dealing with, 20, 20 to 28 feet of water at max. So we trolled around for about three hours with the rig that I had, and no luck for trout. Or rain, I think they're rainbows or, or brown trout, nothing. Uh, so I got to do a little more studying for the next time. And we'll, we'll try that same technique again. Definitely, you can tell when you get that wobbler in the water, it'll go boop, 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 like that with your pole. And, and if you pull it up and you watch that thing goes through, you can get that same wobble. That wobble looks good in the water. You just see that thing going like this, flickering, and you got that worm back there trailing. It looks beautiful in the water. I, I'd want to nibble on it too if I was a fish. But no luck. Maybe you got to be in deeper water. Let me know. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Okay, we're here. This is Vic here. We got Austin back there. There he is. What's up, Austin? We're fully loaded. Two bags right here, the two black bags. Cooler is at least what, 75 pounds, 100 pounds? 75. Austin's Pretty overweight. Heavy. I'm overweight. <laughs> it's weighted really good, actually. Huh? How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'll tell you later. It's a little sketchy. All right, stay tuned. Sing the song again. How's it go? When the moon hits your eye like a big piece of pie, that's amore. That's amore. 
cloud at your feet. You're in love when you walk in a dream. But you know you're not dreaming, signore. <laughs> Got the old hardwood out. Look at that. Huh? Check it out. A little bit of wind and uh, a little bit of. Do it again, like a real good one. Check that out. We got lucky, we got this great. Someone left this behind. There's a blow down white birch in the back. We dragged it in, we zip it up. Austin's testing out his new pan. Look at that. Dirty. Straight up a little. Yep. Say hi, Marcus. We're doing a skate, a little scan here. I was gonna shoot your pike from where I was standing. <laughs> you should have. Everyone's like, "Oh, I can't believe you shot him." What's it called? The XL speaker. Uh, guys, by the way, they're over here, Chris. You got it. And another Ronka. Matthew. Someone give him a talking stick. Should I do this? Should I do this? Because I'll do this. Yeah, do that. It's actually good. Strobe it. Oh no. Oh my God. All right, just leave your light on though, because it's making a better video. Three dozen. There's probably three dozen or more. Wait, 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 wait! You blacked out, but you're still awake. Hit it. Don't get in his way, Bren. Wow. Nice. That's a nice size fit. Get right in there, Austin. Coming in hot here. Watch out, Dom. Whoa, did he swallow some or is that poopy? It's probably poop. That's another hook. He's got a hook. Oh, oh wow. Hook. Oh, wait, there's like four feet of <laughs> He's got a Sorry, hook in his it was. Belly. He pooped out a bull. Wait, this guy's got easy, Brent. Jeez, it's not a race. Look at his face. Easy, <laughs> easy. Turn it. Wow, this is a hot little spot we're on. There you go. Keep going. Get him in the boat. He don't count. Oh, that's a nice one too, Bren. Whoa. Dude, I'm so proud of both of you. <laughs> Super jealous. 
Do you really need the pliers on that job? He's a newbie, you know, he's like me. How's that feel? Dude, this, this look, fish, at, look at this guy. <laughs> this fish has a hook in his belly. Brand, good job, buddy. Fly can't get it. Oh, Brando. Brandon. Good job, Marista. <laughs> the, other one. the belly one? Fuck. Poor guy. Are you going to keep him or are you going to throw him? Oh, there you go. How'd that, that feel? Did he pop that one out no, Dude, you pull that out, you kill it. Think so? Check, this out. Check this out. It's got a hook. You can't thread it right out, though. Like this, like this. Wow, that's pretty wild. I feel like you'll rip him right Look, open. Look, you can see it in his mouth. Should I, should I try and no, see No, that's it not in his open? mouth. Okay, then what is that? Now put it right back in the water. Then. Okay. Don't worry about it. He'll live. He yeah, obviously didn't learn his lesson, though. Oh, hold them up. Hold on. Oh. Oh, you lost them. Busted the line. My father was a pro at this, I'll be honest with you. I used to fill the boat. I thought you go down his back, poke out, and then run down his thing. You never done, you've done this before. Yeah. Come on. Oh, this is a big fillet. Think he's dead? He's dead now. <laughs> and then, Marcus, you go like this, right down to his fish deal. Manjo beige? He's so big, my knife doesn't go all the way through. Wow, look at that. Yep, he's ruining the meat though a little bit. I can already No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Look. That's really nice. Look, I'm no pro, Dom. Can, it's all right. I'll repeat almost anything you say. Hey, there's your fillet. Okay? Oh, you think you did pretty good. And now Actually, what you do, you keep that like that. And then you leave, okay? No, watch. You got to throw it in the water a little bit, clean up the fish, right? Shh, I'll get to it. See you guys. I'm going to skin them down now. Thick. Now you're my fish.